Today we are going to be looking at on the PI84 graphing calculator to help you adjust your viewing window so that you can see your graphs exactly as you need to be able to see them. The two features we're going to look at is the Zoom Fit feature and the Zbox feature. For Zoom Fit, I'm going to use the function x to the third minus x squared minus 54x plus 144. So to begin with, I've got to hit my y equals button so that I can enter my function into the calculator. So I am going to hit x raised to the third power. And then if you notice, your cursor is still in the exponent. So you're going to have to hit um, at least arrow one over to the right. That will put your cursor down on the line where you may continue to enter the function. Then you're going to go minus x squared minus 54 x plus 144. So once you enter your equation, then what you're going to do is you will hit the graph button up here in the top right hand corner. That's going to automatically take you over to look at the graph. And what we see here is a pretty jagged picture here. Doesn't really give us a clear indication of what it's going to look like. All right, so obviously just hitting graph did not work. Um, sometimes you get lucky enough and the zoom fit option is going to work. So I am going to come over here in the middle. It's the middle button. It is the zoom button. When I hit that, I'm going to get a menu of things. All right, now I'm just going to arrow down until I get to zoom fit. And zoom fit is going to be at zero. So I can either you know, hit enter or hit zero, and that's going to be my zoom fit. When I do that, it's going to then adjust the graph. You can see the graph is thinking by the little marks there. And then we got lucky this time because then zoom fit does show the nice cubic equation that we need to see. If I needed to find maxes and mins from here, I could do that. If I needed to find the zeros of the function now, I could easily do that. So zoom fit does work on some equations. All right, now let's take a look at the Z-box equation. All right, um, the equations I have set up for Z-box. I'm going to go back into Y equals, and I'm going to clear out that function because I no longer need that one. I'm going to deal with these two functions, f of x equals 2x minus 1, and f of x equals x squared. I'm actually going to enter both of those into the calculator. Um, so first of all, I'm going to do the 2x minus 1. Now I want to enter my second function, so I'm going to arrow down, and now I can enter in x squared. Two relatively simple equations here. All right, what's going to happen? We're going to go hit the graph and see what happens. Okay, now I did not clear the calculator from before. Okay, so it left it in that zoom fit mode, and that just pretty much doesn't show us anything right here. All right, and that's going to happen sometimes. You're going to leave it the window the way it was in the previous graphing, and then you're not going to know what to do. All right, so before we actually explore the zoom box, I'm going to need to go in and hit zoom. All right, now one option when that menu comes up is standard. Zoom standard is going to reset the window back to just a normal viewing window. So let's go in and try that and see what's going to happen now. Okay, so now we clearly can see the straight line there, positive slope of 2 crossing at minus 1, and we can clearly see our parabola. Okay, now, the thing is, most of the time, um, if you've got something like this, you're going to want to see, like, the intersection points or something right here in the graph, and that's just too small for you to be able to see. So this is where we're actually going to use the Z-Box feature. I'm going to go into Zoom again, all right? The first thing that comes up in the menu is the Z-Box, so I'm going to hit a 1 to choose that. All right, now what happens, if you can see it, there's going to be a little blanking, blinking cursor. I need to go somewhere around the section. I'm going to make a little box around the section I want to see. So if I start to arrow up, now you can actually see that cursor, and it's starting to move. I'm going to move over to the left. There's the blinking cursor, and maybe it'll go up. This is going to be like my top left-hand corner of my box. Okay, maybe that's where I want, and I want the rectangle I'm going to draw to be right in there. So that would be the top left-hand corner of my box. 
I'm going to hit enter. All right now I'm going to arrow and it's going to start right now. It's just creating a line across there because all I'm doing is going to the right. But as soon as I start going down, there you see your box. All right, and wherever I want then, I can come back this way if I want to narrow it. If I want to go back up, I can do that. All right, so that area right there is the part that I'm putting inside the Z box, so to speak. And that's the part that is going to enlarge here when I hit enter. So I still see the straight line and I see part of that parabola coming up. All right, so I can now more clearly see, all right, okay, there's an intersection point in there somewhere. So that is helping tremendously. Now that little blank cursor is still there because technically I still have that Z box feature in there. If I was going to do something else, as soon as I would hit maybe say second calc, and then I pick another selection of something that I want to do. Maybe I want to do the intersection point. That blinking cursor is going to go away, and then I'm going to start the next procedure I need to do. Um, so there is some features on how you can manipulate your graph. Zoom fit and Zbox. And then we also saw the zoom standard whenever your graph is kind of all screwed up and you left it from your previous graphing scenario.